So I like to add these custom text plus subtitles to every video I edit, but it's a very long and tedious task to type out each line by hand, and I'm pretty sick of doing it. So I created this Python script that does it automatically. It uses OpenAI's Whisper to transcribe the timeline and then the DaVinci Resolve API to add each subtitle in a text plus object on the timeline. And because it can be accessed through the scripts menu in Resolve, it not only works in the studio version, but also the free version. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is add a text plus object to the timeline. Then you wanna customize it the way you want. I've added a red outline to mine and a drop shadow. And then I've also added a pop in effect, just using zoom going from 0.9 to 1.05 to one. Once you're done customizing it, you need to drag it into the media pool. This is so that the script can access it and add it to the timeline. Now that we have a text plus template in the media pool, we can remove this from the timeline. These are all the default settings. You can leave them like this if you want. I'm just gonna set the text to all lowercase, and then I'm going to tick remove commas and full stops. I'm going to make sure that the in point is set to the start of the timeline, and the out point is set to whatever time I want it to generate subtitles until. I'd recommend opening the console so that you can get more regular progress updates. Okay, now I'm going to click transcribe and generate subtitles. It's going to switch to the render page and start rendering the audio. Then once it's done that, you can see it's transcribing audio. Inside the console, you can see the progress of transcribing this audio. This may take a while to complete, depending on what model is chosen and the size of the video. Once it's done transcribing the audio, a text plus object will be added to the timeline for each subtitle. Like this. See? Exactly how you want it. Okay, so to get the script set up, you're going to want to go to the GitHub repository linked in the description. And if you scroll down, you can see I've created a step-by-step -step setup guide. In order for it to work, you'll need to have Python version 3.10 or less, because anything above this isn't supported by OpenAI Whisper. If you're on Windows, I've got this handy PowerShell script created by Troubleshoot. All you have to do is download this file and then run this command in PowerShell in administrator mode. This will automatically install OpenAI Whisper. Check that you have the right Python version. If you don't, it will install it and it will install all of the dependencies necessary for Whisper to work. If you're on Mac or Linux, unfortunately, you'll have to install Python yourself. Make sure it's 3.10 or less. And then you'll need to follow the installation guide on the Whisper repository to install Whisper and all of its dependencies. Anyway, after you've installed Whisper, you need to install StableTS that modifies Whisper for more accurate timestamps. When you run the script, you may get an error saying that there's no audio backend. What you'll need to do is run this command to fix that. Then once all of that setup is done, final thing to do is download the auto subs.py file from the GitHub repo. Going into it and clicking download raw file. Once that's downloaded, you're gonna to want to drag the autosubs.py file into the utility folder of the Fusion Scripts folder within the DaVinci Resolve directory. There may be multiple of these Fusion Script folders, but any of them will do. So just drag it into one of them. To run the script, you just go to the top menu bar, you click Workspace, then Scripts, and Auto Subs should be here. It might be a bit slow to open sometimes, but just give it a few seconds, it should open. Now I'm gonna go through what each of these settings does. So the max words per line is the max number of words allowed in the subtitles file on each line, and the max characters per line is the same. Then the transcription model is which whisper transcription model we're gonna use. So I recommend small because it has the best balance of speed and accuracy in my opinion. The first time you use one of these models, it has to download it to your computer. So just take that into account and I'd recommend opening the console so that you can see the progress on that. Then there's English only mode. I have that ticked because it's more accurate for transcription. But if you're not using English, then you obviously untick that. Onto the text plus subtitle generation part of the settings, you select which track you want the subtitles to be on. You can select a custom SRT file if you want. So this is if you already have the subtitles file and you just want to add each line to the timeline in your custom style. So if you're using the script to transcribe the video as well, then you don't need to touch this. But you can add here any words that you want to censor and it'll censor them like this. You can set all of the text to all uppercase or all lowercase and you can remove commas 
and full stops. This button does everything at once and then this button just transcribes the timeline into an SRT file and then this button will generate the text plus subtitles on the timeline from the recent transcription. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This was way harder than I thought it would be to make because the documentation for DaVinci Resolve is so unclear and very confusing and it's missing some key details that I really had to scour the internet for. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a breakdown of the code and how you can make your own Python scripts to automate tasks in DaVinci Resolve.